What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be just doing a quick review slash breakdown of the new worldwide November 30th player of the weeks. Player of the weeks lads as, as everybody knows them now. Players of the week launch and drop every Thursday and then you have the boosters on the Monday right. So we do have a couple here now you can get actually two free spins this week. Sorry lads the cold is getting to me man it's so cold here. Uh, it's absolutely freezing. If you go into Dream Team, for any newcomers, just to give this a quick little run through, go into events, and then the AI events will get you a free uh, player of the week spin. So you've got one there, and you've got one there. You complete those, you get two free spins, okay? And then you can spin the another three if you want to with coins. So you will be able to clear half the pack, or a little under half the pack, <coughs> excuse me, um, with... 300 coins and the, and the two freebies, right? So let's take a look at the player of the weeks here, see if there's anyone that catches our eye, and straight away there is uh, with Rodrigo, right? So Rodrigo for me is probably the pick of him here. Obviously, I'm going to be a little biased because of Garnacho, but I do feel that even though he's got really nice player skills, he doesn't have double touch, even though he's got good dribbling stats, he doesn't have flip flap, he doesn't have soul control, he doesn't have anything that really sets him apart. He has one touch pass, first time shot, and acrobatic finishing. I do like what they're trying to do with the player of the weeks lately. I mean, we had Giroud that could play in goals. We had McTominay that was up center forward. And now we have Garnacho celebrating that absolute worldy of a goal. An unbelievable goal. I love the card. It, this could be a very rare card if they ever bring in a transfer market. He's down as a whole player. And I don't think a lot of people will probably spin for him unless you're a United fan. So it could be a very rare card with 99 acceleration. That probably puts him into the upper echelon of really fast players. And of course, he can play down the left flank as well. Um, as you see there with my face, you can play the left flank or uh, left midfield or left wing, right? So the one thing I would say is that I think this card just 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 goes a little bit under the radar yes he's got blister and pace um and he's got really good dribbling and balance and it is a phenomenal card but he can't play centrally he can't play up front he's down as a whole player that's one knocking him and also the fact that he's only got 81 finishing now i would say that there's not a massive difference between 81 finishing and 85 i just feel for this car man he should have been at least 85 86 without any boosts and then you get the boost that puts him up into 88 89 maybe even 90 um i mean i don't see why they wouldn't it would just probably put him at 95 overall i think that would have been fine but again i've got my manchester united jersey on so maybe i'm a little bit biased it's under this lads it's too cold to take off my top um but anyway we've got kandreva i remember kandreva way back in master league that's going back he can play all down the right side very very good uh player but again he's not going to be meta he's not going to be somebody that you can slot into your squad and be better than pretty much any of your squad because he's just a bench player uh, he does have fighting spirit and he is down as a whole player again. Yeah, he's probably a pass, uh, to be honest with you. He's not really going to do it for me. Uh, with Salerno there, Machini there, as well as a build up center back. Again, very good tackling, very good aggression and defensive awareness. Uh, defensive engagement isn't great, but early he's quite strong. He's only got standard form. He does have blocker interception, area superiority, and heading, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, but he does have fighting spirit. So, this is a solid card if you do get him as a freebie. I, to be honest with you lads I genuinely unless you have started the game in the last day or two I would genuinely get your two free spins and if you got Rodrigo Garnacho Havertz Pau Torres or Dembele I dip I wouldn't put coins into this um I would wait for the next big update we also have Morales here as well he's having a good season um 85 acceleration 89 finishing I mean they're giving him 89 finishing man uh, they should have given that to to Garnacho but he's got super sub double touch he doesn't have one touch pass I think Garnacho will be fun I'll definitely try and spin for him we also have a Tate as a center back again he's down kind of like a mini Puyol not obviously as good way way weak in compared to that but he's got good player skills so i wouldn't be spinning you know for him but if you did get him in your pursuit of one of your top picks then i mean maybe he would be worth a, a pop because all of these players are going to be on a form the form is back we also have Mignan, who's your goalkeeper uh all you need to know about this guy lads is 92 reflexes and the fact he's over 191 and he's got jumping 75 plus he's a fairly solid goalkeeper i know that he saved me a lot of times on my xbox profile as the standard version this card is going to be equally as good if not better and of course we also have bruno who's down as a dmf anchorman you know i love anchorman um with a bit of player instruction on him and a bit of kind of like patience i think an anchorman is the best position on the pitch if you get used to how they play how 
they operate and the weaknesses that they have, the gaps they leave and how they get exposed. This guy looks phenomenal, right? Now, I would say that his his passing is probably his main one with 92 low pass. Um, but also the fact that he's got so many of these passing skills are brilliant. It's very rare that you get a player that has man marking, interception, sliding, tackle, and true pass and way to pass, one touch pass, and low lofted, and outside curler. Because you can't train additional skills onto these cards, because you don't need to train up their XP, that's where a lot of the value comes from. And I think you've got a ready-made anchorman here, especially if you're starting off. He's nowhere near meta or anything, but he is a very, very good player. I'd say the same about Paul Torres. I mean, Torres is a is, a, is kind of like, I won't say he's a fantastic player, but he's definitely better than kind of like average, right? He's like a great center back, okay? Uh, blocker, interception, man marking, aerial superiority, sliding, tackle, heading, and acrobatic clearance. Only thing he doesn't have is fighting spirit, which is, it's not really a big deal uh, for a card like this. He's tall, he's physical, he's strong. He's actually quite quick as well. Kind of like Tommy Ashu. That's who I would uh, kind of like recognize this guy to be like in that same kind of mold, right? We have Havertz as well, fresh from scoring. I mean, Arsenal look absolutely insane as of late, lads, and it pains me to say that as a United fan, but I mean, they just seem to have such a such a complete team, and Declan Rice is an absolute monster. United should have blew the bank for him if he would have came, but it is what it is, man. Um, but listen, we have uh, Havertz here, who's down as a whole player. Very, very nice card. A super sub makes him into that kind of impact player tier list. Um, so there's two types of players. I would say starters that are going to be, you know, like playing every game for you. And then there's going to be like impact players or game changers, right? So the likes of Havertz is going to be a game changer and an impact guy. Super sub. He's also got really nice player skills. He can play multiple positions. Speed lets him down a little bit. He's more of kind of like a Burkamp-esque rather than a Thierry Henry. He's going to be assisting. He's going to be bringing others into the, into the play. But a solid whole player attacking midfielder, just not one of the best they've ever released. Then on to the two top picks, right? We've got Rodrigo and Dembele. I have waxed lyrical about Dembele for so long in this game. He was my favorite winger to use for probably the first six months of eFootball 22. And I've used multiple cards until I got Ribery and Messi. He's probably my main pick, um, apart from Corona. But I just love him, man. He can play left or right, as you see there, all the way down both flanks there. He can play left or right. And, of course, we're also going to have that blister in pace speed and the dribbling. The Holy Trinity, lads, the 94, 90 plus in dribbling, speed and acceleration. And then balance is going to be about 90 as well, if you could get it. But he doesn't have the balance as high. But he does have some really good player skills, including a very rare Rabona and pinpoint crossing combo with soul control double touch dip and shot heel trick he doesn't have flip flop um that's the only thing and then last but not least we have rodrigo so rodrigo has been banging goals in left right and center lads and this card is phenomenal 88 finishing 94 dribbling 92 type possession can play through the middle or left or right wing this is probably one of the most unique cards that they've ever released because he plays like Romario um, in terms of like height, weight, player ID, movement, his AI positioning. He, I've used Rodrigo quite a bit on my prof, on my Xbox um, and I do really enjoy him. Even just his, st his standard card, which is down as a winger, he does move centrally quite a lot. Flip flap, soul control, double touch. That tells you all you need to know for the, for the beautiful, silky, smooth skills. He's also got one touch pass, true pass and first time shot and acrobatic finishing. And he has super subs. So you imagine bringing this guy on with these stats with 25 minutes to go and he is a beast. And you could bring him on with a sub tactic. You could start him left wing and you could sub tactic him to right wing or else central. You could start him central and move him out left. So if you have a lot of variability or very a variety in your players, this guy could be an absolute machine for you. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys think. Just because of what's in it, we are going to do one spin on these, lads. I would like to get Rodrigo, or, or else I would like to get Garnacho. We're going to do one spin just for you in this video, and let's see who we do get, because I would like Garnacho, man, to try him out. I've been waiting for a really good Garnacho card, and this looks like it could be it. Once it's not Bruno, lads, once it's not Bruno, I love Garnacho, man. It's not. It's Bruno, though. It's Bruno, so we'll take that. He probably won't get into the squad, to be honest with you. I mean, he's not going to... He's not going to take Vieira out of the team or Amrabat or any of those boys, Casemiro. So, yeah, unfortunately, we might spin again. Check out the live stream. If you haven't, we'll probably be live very, very soon if we're not live already. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you in a bit. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.